Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today, we are taking a look at Unfiltered Audio's A Needlepoint, which is a kind of a vinyl record simulator for scratches and everything. And it uses no samples, it's all synthesis. And you can cover every single aspect of the vinyl experience, if you like. Okay, so this is going to be a full tutorial. You've got a recording part here which is kind of your input. Then you've got a dust section and then you have a noise section. Then you have this kind of playback section here. At the moment, I have dust and noise turned off and I'm going to apply the effect to this little track. I've got a well, loop I've got set up in Cubases so you can hear what's going on. So first of all, let's say just play a little bit of this and I will bring up the age. So we're not looking at the dust or the noise at the moment, only the playback and the recording section. So bringing up the age. Our own flutter. Something wrong with your motor. <laughs> then we have the compressor. We can set the compressor to pre or post. Lacquer is a, a, a really uh, nice compression algorithm. I, I like this one a lot, but if we open this up, we have press or uh, I, I guess just basic compression or Otter, Osaka, Brat, West, Atlantic. We can listen to various um, ones of those. Let's start with pressure. They all have a different vibe. That way it's very oversaturated. Seeing the actual wave view. nice like the lacquer and you have pre like i said you have pre and post for each of those right okay so leaving this section as it is let's look at uh dust okay so let's switch dust on and play let's bring the volume up And a density now. You'll because it's still spinning, you'll still hear the dust. And this is because we have this set on constant. But let's just look at this now. So we have medium dust, large dust, and small dust. So basically taking all the medium and large dust away, and let's increase the volume for the small dust. So density so this is an overall control for all three you'll see that we can move we set this here like give this something 
We can control the density for all three and also the volume or we can do this independently. Let's turn bump all the way down for now. So you can then filter the dust. Sounds very um, kind of gramophony. Now you won't really hear bump until we're running the track so let's leave the dust let's leave it quite dense and so you can hear a lot of what's going on i mean that's a dirty record you don't want that if we play this and push the bump up this is what happens if you're if you're tracking if your uh, tracking pressure isn't right they'll get little skips and bumps on the vinyl not really making contact with the groove properly but we can compensate for that of course with the amount So you wouldn't, you know, you want to be subtle, really. Okay, let's turn dust off and let's listen to noise now. Let's switch it on first. Let's turn it up so you can hear what's going on. Now, you'll hear some movement in that noise. So that's more white noise, kind of more pink. And we can modulate that with the movement. Now that would, you'd get that exact same effect, only lesser, if, if there was a warp in the vinyl. Okay, but here you can control the speed. So 16, it's going to be fast, slow, sorry. And then going up, we can go all the way. I mean, you know, this gives you more speeds than any, any, any record player. But you also have the 33 and a third, 45. 78 and then it just goes up got different different speeds so well, let's leave it on 33 which is normal and you also have a filter for the noise as well Now, let's open this menu. What this means now is this will only take effect when we press the play. And then it'll stop. And then we have also an envelope. So this reacts to any peaks in the actual audio, so. And last but not least, we have auto stop, right? So because the transport isn't running, the, vi the vinyl, the record has stopped, the turntable has stopped. So if we start it off. And we can control the speed here of which this stops and starts.
Now this also works if we bring in a dust and some age and a little bit of wow, not much, and a bit of flutter. Let's put a bit of compression in there. And this will all start and stop all of this stuff. If I stop it now, okay. And like I said, this is this is the controls the speed. Okay, so let's look at broken. Let's start it off again, and then in fact, let's put just put this on transport. Now, what happens? This um, represents a scratch. So it will jump, so you'd have to move the needle along. Let's change the speed. and of course you can stop and start the spin down here as well and of course you can control the speed of the spin down so, so really fast, you can go really quick. All right, and then we have pitch. Here, this is your kind of dry and wet mix, okay? So to change the global setting, just double tap on this. Then you can kind of just say, let's enter 50%. And now we've got 50% mix between the dry and wet. Okay, let's just put this back up to 100%, and, uh, and now we're back to 100% mix. So that's the, that's the basic controls, okay? So you also have a randomize. So if we, let's just make sure we gain this a little bit. So let's hit random, and this will randomize all the controls. Okay, what we can do is lock certain parameters so they don't randomize. So if we just go to a, uh, a default preset again, let's turn our level down, and let's just play. If we, like, set something that we want to keep, something that we're going to notice this, I'm going to set this to lacquer. Now I'm going to hit this little lock button and then start. You'll see a little lock appear. I'm going to lock some of these controls. So I've locked the basic recording section. So none of this will randomize when I hit the 
the dice button. Now you can go in, turn that down, and that. You can go into settings here. Uh, sorry, is it? Uh, yeah, settings, and you can choose different themes. You can choose the randomization, so how much randomization you want or how little. You can have drift prevention. You can have the visualizer on, which we've got on. We've got tool tips off. You've also got custom label. If you look at this here, let's just get this back to a um, a default patch, shall we? Oop, wrong button. Hang on a sec. Here, and reset to default. Turn that down. You'll still got our locks on here. So what we need to do is switch this back on, and then we can now turn any of these locks off that we've had on, and then exit this. And now everything will randomize. Okay, let's just reset that to default as well. And turn that down and go in here. So this here, this fun custom label, I think on the desktop this does more. You'll see this label in the middle. If I go into our settings now and switch that off. Now there's no way I, I have found to, it's just this white label or yellow label if you like. There's no way that I've found to import your own image into this. So that would be very cool. And a lot of fun but it doesn't do anything to the sound of course anyway right that's basically it now on this piano this piano you can kind of get an idea of some cool stuff you can do Now I've got this running on the master channel, so it's affecting all three of these tracks. In fact, if we look at the mixer, I think we saw it at the beginning that needle point is sitting in the uh, master inserts on the, on the uh, stereo out. And on this piano, I've just got a few, but it's the chorus, it's just basic Steinbeck piano. Bit of bass and then some drums which i've also put some uh studio eq and stuff on like that so so you can also change the color let's uh, let's i'll play around with a few of the settings while the track's playing Some of them are really nice, actually. This button here is to save a preset. This just skips.
Slick, that is. Presets to mess around with as well. If you look at all of these coloration hotter, you can destroy it. Uh, pff, do you know what I mean? So, and then you can dial into suit. What's incredible is let's just switch this onto transport. What's incredible is the amount of control you have. Start from scratch. Um, I have to say that this is uh, my first deep tutorial uh for needle point it's not difficult to understand of course it's very simple but we will be moving on to other unfiltered audio apps and deeper dive tutorials like silo um tails see the one base mint um I'm sure there's another one knocking around somewhere that i've forgotten about uh oh yeah lo-fi aaf lo-fi af it's hard to say lo-fi af <laughs> um we'll be looking at them in, in really fine super detail like this and having a look at exactly what you can do and just start with switching stuff off start with the recording section and just dialing a sound like Anyway, guys, there you go. Needle points, a tutorial on how to use it, and you can save your own preset, etc. Have the color to suit whatever you like. Very cool. Top job, cool beans. I like it a lot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Ta -da.